As some of you may or may not know, I don't like to get into the whole evolution slash creationism thing, because honestly, what can you do? The hardcore creationists will never accept evolution, even though we have overwhelming evidence of it, and not, not just fossils and lots of things, genes and other resources. And, and they never, they will never accept it. And you can show them all of this, you can show them the transitional forms, you can show them how much DNA we share with chimps, and they will either make something up that thinks that, that disproves it, or they say we're making it up, something along those lines. Sometimes, I just can't help myself to get into these debates. Because, uh, well, one more thing, uh, there are some creationists that do recognize the science, and then while they never lose their faith, they do accept evolution, but by then, they're not considered creationists anymore. And that's fine, too. Now, there are some creationists that have this idea that you can completely disprove evolution if you found humans and dinosaurs together in the fossil record. Now, before I get into this, let me explain that even if you could completely disprove evolution, 100% not true, that wouldn't prove creation either, because to prove creation, it would have to go through the scientific method like everything else, and that can't happen, that can't happen because creation is driven by supernatural force. So, it's not that science can't do it, can't test creation, it's just that the fact that it's driven by a supernatural force, it simply can't be part of science. So, through a scientific point of view, it doesn't exist, because science only deals with the natural universe, the things that we can see, touch, smell. So, there, there could be religious scientists, of course, you know, but scientists as a whole, the subject of science, supernatural things don't exist. Now, the humans and dinosaurs, uh, Besides both of us being eukaryotes, and in the broadest sense, uh, having the vertebrate anatomy, we're not that very much related. So, personally for me, if we found humans in dinosaur age rocks, I would not dis I would not disregard evolution. It would change my thinking of it, uh, but I would still accept evolution because that doesn't really disprove it. Now, with the creationists should, if they want people to uh, go to their point of view and doubt evolution and try to disprove evolution themselves, what they should want scientists to find are humans with their ancestors in the same rock. So we found Homo sapien fossils in the same rock or strata as Australopithecus. To me, that, that would make me think twice about evolution. It may not really disprove it, but uh, it would dramatically change the thinking of it, and it may also lead us to another alternative to evolution, maybe. And you can do that with any lineage. You can do that with, uh, if you found a humpback whale in the same strata as Pachycetus or Ambulocetus or any of the early land-dwelling mammals that eventually became whales. That too would make me think twice about evolution. Maybe, okay, maybe, we, you know, there's some things not accurate here. But humans and dinosaurs, they think if they find them coexisting, that would disprove evolution, and it doesn't, because honestly, humans and dinosaurs live now. I got two pet dinosaurs upstairs. They're called Parakeetsosaurus. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's my thought on the whole thing. Uh, if you guys disagree with me, of course, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to respond. Uh, if you want to add anything that I missed or didn't even think of, feel free to. I apologize that I haven't been making many videos lately for any of you that are a fan of my videos. Uh, I'm working on two new video series that I think would be pretty cool. Uh, I'm hesitant on filming them until I get a new camera and a better editing system, but I think they would be interesting. So Until then, I'll be making little single videos like this along the way. So. Thanks for watching and have a groovy day, guys.